All right, we rolling. I'm here with the homie Blaze the God, man. Today, what up, what up, what up? We got another dumb ass, man. I'm tired of seeing these rappers, man, with all these millions and millions of dollars, you know what I'm saying? And toured all over the United States, probably all over the world, some of them. And then y'all keep going back and forth to jail. You, you crack your head against the wall one time, damn, everybody make a mistake. But if you got millions and millions of dollars and you continue to go back and forth to jail, getting incarcerated, getting locked up. Oh, yellow. Damn, bro. Come on, man. Blaze. Look, we didn't have this conversation about plenty of uh, rappers, musicians, or I don't care what you, actor, whatever you want to call yourself, whatever you're doing out there in the industry. You make it too much money to be staying in the streets. Yeah. Now, I know, I know, I know young yellow. Yellow, yellow making money just off the music alone. The music revenue is is, is doing him, yeah, doing him right. He making money. We're getting them streams. Oh, yellow. Wait, wait, where he from? Uh, 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 Dallas. Texas, right? That's a Dallas boy, yeah, in Texas. Yeah, yeah. No, you. He making money, bro. Like everybody in everybody around the world fucking with Texas again. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't put that boy. What's the name? Gave that boy his start. Uh. Freddie. It's a, it's a, it's a, bro. I just don't understand it, bro. There's a certain point in your career where you start making a certain amount of money. You would think that you would start thinking about, you know what I'm saying? Investing. Yeah. Starting businesses and making your money work for you. So you ain't got to continue to keep working. Shout out to uh chameleon <clears throat> For the tech ventures and all of that, because he 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 a Texas boy, you know what I mean. I don't know exactly where you're from in Texas. I think you're from Houston or just repped Houston. Uh, shout out to Chameleon there. I mean, side note, but it's just along the lines of what you said. Chameleon there went opened up the tech world. You know what I mean? Bridge the gap from Texas to California. Um, what what they call it? Silicon Valley shit. You know what I mean? He got a lot of shit going on. Yeah, and it, and it's not even. It, like, I, you could look outside of just, you know what I'm saying, even the tech world, you know what I'm saying? Like, real estate is booming. But who you expected know? this brother to go do that? That's the reason why I brought Chameleon there up. Who expected that brother at that time? I well, dare to, yeah. to- I mean, to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody knew what happened to Chameleon there after that. So everybody felt like, or they thought that he fell off and went, yeah. you know what I'm saying, back to the little street world or wherever he came from before he was riding dirty. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying, when everybody found out that, you know what I'm saying, he like one of the biggest influences in the tech world right now, it blew everybody, blew everybody mind. Cause like Chameleon there is one of the biggest influences in the tech world right now behind the scenes. Like he's all, all over the place with it, which is crazy. Um, But a lot of people need to start thinking outside of that. Like, not even just the, the tech world, but start thinking about, like I said, real estate, you know what I'm saying, investments, however you want to do it. Take your money and make your money work for you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. When you when you get to that, when you get to that level, you should not be still thinking about being in the streets. It's it don't only, make no sense. It's only I a know that things these, that's gonna happen in the streets. I know that these brothers gotta gotta protect themselves, but when you're getting caught with drugs. Uh, we okay. Damn it! I mean, y'all gonna smoke your weed? I understand, but but if you got caught with some other shit, like you said, we just now catching the story, and it's all so, allegedly. Yeah, they said he got arrested with the shit. So yeah, but I mean, it's still allegedly because we don't know we don't know facts from fiction, fiction right now. You get what I'm saying? We we reading off somebody else's uh, story, man. Even if nine hundred other people, <laughs> but I mean, at the end of the day, regardless whether he did or didn't get arrested, or you know what I'm saying, whatever, I start thinking thinking more of your future. You know what I'm saying? And the streets ain't your future. No, you end up you only gonna end up a couple ways fucking with the streets, especially especially getting to that level. When you get to that level, you you can't you can't stay in the streets like that. And they already tried to blame him out, take his life. You know what I'm saying? Caught the boy. Uh... I think he was on a on a bridge or some shit, but he got caught in his hometown. So it's just like, I don't know. 
where where this was at. But I'm pretty sure the brother was in Texas somewhere. Where he said, okay, Texas, yeah, he got caught in Texas. So yeah. at some point, you got to start moving different. And I mean, Boosie said it best. That shit went viral when Boosie said it. Most rappers get killed in their hometown, so they gonna keep fucking with you. Either the streets gonna take you up, or or, or them alphabet boys coming after yeah. you. The ABCs. Yeah. Damn, Beezy. I mean, hopefully the brother gonna get himself together. Uh, you got too much money. You know what I'm saying? You got little ones or whatever. Um, you got family. You gotta go and get himself together. Uh, I had to cover this story because. I'm tired of seeing young, black, successful, wealthy, period. I don't give a damn. You ain't even got to be a rapper. And then you do some dumb shit like this. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it. Blaze, if you had uh, if you had $10 million, you blew up, you got $10 million, God damn it, you hit the lottery, where would you, how would you be moving, bro? What would you be, what would you be on? I definitely wouldn't be in the streets. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest. I'm not. No, no. Nah. I got, I got, I got associates just in the streets. That don't mean nothing. They, they associate it. They, they gonna be associates then. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. Like, I'm not. See, I'm not. I'm not in the street world. You know what I'm saying? Never claim to be. Never will claim to be. But I would I'm say this. Though. You ain't gonna be doing nothing to get yourself caught up. So I'm saying, what would you? I mean, let's see. Okay, let me hey, ask you this. Let me as ask you this. That, as good as that sound, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this. As good as as good as that sound, depending on the person and depending on who it is with the money, money can make you act a, a certain way. You had $10 million tomorrow. And money only money nope. only enhanced the person that you are. You see how he ducking that, ducking the damn answer. If I had 10 million, to, if I had, if I had tomorrow, let's just say, excuse me, you let's wake just up, say what's your first move? Let's just say a million. A million is more realistic. Let's just say a million, because a lot of these people, a lot of these niggas ain't got ten million dollars. Uh, let's just say a million. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, the first thing I'm doing, bro, is I'm thinking about how I can try to uh, how I how I could try to elevate myself, get into real estate. You know what I'm saying? I might buy and flip my first house, get my business going a little bit more. Set some money aside for my kids, you know what I'm saying? And right. they take the money and try to make it work for me. Figure I got a million dollars, you gotta figure it out. I'm a million dollars don't it, it seemed like a lot, but it really ain't. You know what I'm saying? You could blow through that in no time. Right. But you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna hold this conversation down too long. No, um, that's why I was just about to say, y'all make sure y'all go to lgcbranded.com. I clicked on the wrong damn video. I gotta make sure I put the links beneath that video lgcbranded.com what am i doing okay that's cool it's good it's good it's good lgcbranded.com go, LGC go get branded go yeah, get yeah, branded that's it um yeah. <laughs> we're gonna close off with that y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the youtube channel man more subscribers subscribe to the youtube channel and come to the facebook page as well y'all the links will be below i'll put the links below all right better than we out man we out we out we out